The rematch is on. Let's talk politics. Joe Biden versus Donald Trump. They are the presumptive nominees for their parties. Uh, Mr. Biden, who is campaigning in Wisconsin today, put out a quote. He said the broad coalition of voters representing the rich diversity of the Democratic Party across the country have put their faith in me once again in a moment when the threat Trump poses is greater than ever. Meanwhile, Trump says he is ready to get to work. The Republican National Committee has just declared us the official nominee. We're not going to take time to celebrate. We'll celebrate in eight months when the election is over. November 5th, I believe, will go down as the most important day in the history of our country. And that's what the president hopes. It's a busy week in Washington. A vote on the future of TikTok is heading to the House floor in hours. And lawmakers are still digesting the testimony of former special counsel Robert Herr, who defended his report to the Bi on the Biden document case and made it clear he did not exonerate the president. We have team coverage. Kelly O'Grady will have the TikTok vote preview. But first, let's go to Peter Ducey. He's live from the White House. Good morning, Peter. Good morning. And even though nobody is denying that President Biden handled classified materials the wrong way, White House officials are saying that he has been cleared of wrongdoing. I think the main thing to take away from today is two words for the American people. Case closed. When a prosecutor spends 15 months investigating a case only to determine that there is no case here and that there will be no charges and that the case is closed, it only affirms the innocence of the president. Uh, but not exactly, according to the special counsel on screen right there, as Democrats hoped to contrast this document's case with Trump's document's case, where there are charges that have not been litigated yet. The Her report represents the complete and total exoneration of President Biden. Did you reach a conclusion that this man was outright innocent? That conclusion is not reflected in my report, sir. The word exoneration does not appear anywhere in my report. You exonerated it a conviction. Him. I know that I the term willful that retention has a... Her had hundreds of pages of facts and footnotes memorized, and he thinks now that he knows why President Biden may have been quietly collecting things for years. Pride and money is why he knowingly violated the rules. The oldest motives in the book, pride and money. You agree with that, Mr. Herr? You wrote it in your report. That language and it does appear in the report, and we did identify evidence supporting those, uh, those assessments. When this story first broke, I asked President Biden, classified documents next to your Corvette, what were you thinking? And according to the Justice Department, he may have been thinking about keeping stuff handy to refer to later for a book. It has been reported that he doesn't keep a daily diary. Rather, he takes notes here and there. So original material would be handy to have if you needed to uh, back up a multi-million dollar book advance. Back to you. Eight million dollars. That must have sold a lot of copies. Yeah, a lot indeed. But Peter, didn't the president tell you, hey, the garage is locked? Uh, he did. And, you know, I, I think Wilmington sometimes has uh, crime waves come and go. And so he just didn't want anybody uh, coming and checking to see if it was unlocked right. like on the street. Look yeah. close. Yeah. See the documents in the back. They, should. Right. Yeah. they talked about the damaged boxes Thanks, and how Peter. it was next to a Zappos box. Right. And it was really messy. Hey, you read the transcripts, about 200 plus pages, uh, 150 times he says, I don't remember. Yeah, he did. 150. Uh, Ainsley, to your point about the Zappos boxes mm -hmm. in a garage, whose garage could actually uh, withstand national scrutiny? I mean, if somebody took a picture of any Not of our garages. Not yeah, exactly. my parents. <laughs> I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.